Hello everybody. I've been uh, come at from several different folks that I feel are close to me and have somewhat of a grasp of what I'm doing and apparently a lot of folks have no fucking clue as to what the fuck it is that I'm doing. So, instead of asking me what the fuck I'm doing, they're going to come at me sideways and say stupid shit. Or they're going to try to start a big ass war with my church and He's got a negative past. Whatever. Instead of saying, Dash turn up Daniels, what the fuck are you doing? What is the fucking purpose of what the fuck it is that you're fucking doing? Because we're all flabbergasted. We're supposed to be intelligent people. We're supposed to understand this shit, but we just ain't quite grasping it. Well, it's, it's fucking simple, okay? You don't change reality through political ways. You don't change reality through reporting shit, okay? Nobody's really paying attention. Sure, some like the drama and say, ah, that's pretty funny, ha, ah. Okay? People have been trying to change reality from the hands of the Christians and the Judeo gods and everything else for quite a long time. The conventional ways are not going to work. It's been proven time and time again. You have to attack the right-hand path magically. Magically. With magical prowess. The apostasy is a ritual designed to attack magically the right-hand path. Now, everybody says, Well, Daster, why do you go around leaving flyers on churches' doors or leaving burned DVDs of rituals on churches' doors and shit to invoke fear! To invoke fear. Fear generates theta energy. Theta energy is created from the reptilian mind. <laughs> this is the energy we feed the demons with. Then the demons can go do what they gotta do. Coupled along with the belief of the practitioners who are doing the thing itself. I've been trying to break things down into the simple, most basic levels throughout my blogs and my books, but apparently people still ain't catching on. So we're going to do a real quick crash course on how shit works. There's the individual being, okay? You have a consciousness, all right? And then behind your consciousness is your subconscious. Everybody seems to stop at the enamoration of the subconscious. There's more. <coughs> God damn it, there's more, okay? Then there's the collective consciousness of all living and dead things. We've already been over this in Lesson 5, okay? Then there's the deity, and working with the deity, ours being Ariman, obviously, um, and using his energy as a pingback to create the effect in reality through working with him. Because there's no way we're going to fight an uber motherfucker who's been sucking down souls for thousands and thousands and thousands of years without his infernal, internal opponent who's just as powerful as he is. There's no way we're going to work the scene without him. Okay? It's a matter of magic. If you don't understand magic, then you need to start asking questions. If I don't understand what you don't understand, I can't explain it. It's just that simple. I don't know where you people are. You don't communicate. And the only kind of comments I get are, you know, hey, that's really good. Or, hey, I curse the right-hand path too. And that's fine and great. I love the support. Or I get stupid shit like, are you having an energy exchange with Ariman for cheeseburgers? Come on. Fuck that. You're wasting my time. You're wasting your time. If you don't understand what the fuck it is I'm doing, ask. Just ask. It's not that hard. What is most frustrating to me is that y'all want to sit back in the shadows and teeter-totter back and forth. What the fuck is he doing? I'm going to stand here and spin and not try to understand what he's doing. I'm simple, guys. I'm an educator. You have to ask. If I don't understand what you don't understand, you're not giving me any feedback. I can't explain what the fuck is going on. It's really just that simple. I don't mean that I'm going to build up an army and I'm going to go burn down churches. Fuck that. That's not going to accomplish anything. That's just going to piss the Christians off and we're going to be in an even worse mess than what we started with. No. I have to attack the minds of the Christians on their front. I have to attack the minds of the Christians, the subconscious minds of the Christians, on their front. Their front, not my front. 
You motherfuckers understand the power of the subconscious? They don't. So therefore, I can use and manipulate that shit. And I use their primal energy, their fucking theta energy, quantum energy, whatever fucking name you want to put on it, and broadcast that and push that in to the collective consciousness, along with the help of our men, to create the effective reality change that I want. Because trying to do this shit politically ain't going to change nothing. Trying to do this shit as an educational way ain't going to do nothing. Because it ain't going to happen. The fucking God has got its fucking claws in everything. Every piece of video you look at, every book you read, all the way down to every motherfucking magical practice, as far as ancient alchemy, is going to have some fucking bullshit from the right hand path in it. It's going to be there. Even grimoires about demons are written by Christians. That's why we went to Zoroastrianism. That's why we went to Hinduism. To get the fuck away from that shit. I tell you guys how to work with these entities. I show you how it works. I've explained it enough. I'm tired of explaining myself because I feel like a broken record. If you do not understand, you can ask a question. You can put a video response. You can put a verbal response. You can email me personally. Fuck, you can call me on my goddamn telephone because it's published on my website. I'll be more than happy to sit down and talk it out with you in whatever way you want to talk about it so that you understand what I'm doing. Beyond that, guys, I'm not going to give a fucking crash course over how magic works. I've been explaining that shit in my blogs and in my books for the last year and a half. And if you have a problem connecting the dots and putting the puzzle together, then maybe you don't have a high enough IQ to play with me. And if that's how it is, that's how it is. I don't care. But if you have enough sense in your mind to say, okay, the stuff's starting to make sense, explain to me how it all interconnects, I got no issue with it. But if I don't understand what you don't understand, I can't explain the shit. It's just that simple. Thank y'all. Have a good night.